What's up? This is HG News here. So, I'm here. Basically, I'm off. So, I originally was having to work, but I got needed the day off tomorrow. So, I'm going to have to work as shipped. So, um, I got my Bluebird Blue card through American Express to Walmart. So, basically, there's no fees for actually uh, using the money and like using the card, but there are fees that if you subtract money. Or cash checks, there could be a fee. But you know, I put money on it today, just in the last couple hours. I'm actually waiting for the bill for the new wave that has to come in, and so I can actually go to my store I work for and then have them give them the money, and they'll pay it, and they'll put in the information they need in order to pay the bill. Fast enough, you know. Of course, they have a fee of a dollar or two, wherever it is. But you know, that's how we pay a new wave around here. And <laughs> yeah, I had to work yesterday, a long day. Um, pretty much. I'm off two days this week at least. So I noticed the subscribers has gone up, which is good because you know, I've been working at times, you know, but it's awesome. But so since I actually have a YouTube channel now I have and now I have a bank of card, I may be able to but I gotta ask permission before I do all of this. Once I get um ad revenue in the YouTube service, you know, through the platform, ask permission then they'll give me permission and I'll just add in the details, then ask as they send the money, it'd be probably about three months to order to get the first payment of the course from the last three and I got some bad news that guy had surgery again that tooth I broke earlier my hematologist who is in charge of my bleeding disease for my doctor uh, he wants he wants me to go to an uh, oral surgeon in St. Louis somewhere and then probably do it in Barnes again because they sure, the doctor, the dentist sure removed that bad tooth that was actually bad. And he said it still could be saved, but now it's completely cracked. And it's going to be needing, I'm going to need factor. I'm going to need a, <sighs> yeah, luckily I got better insurance, but just more money that we had to fork out. And the hemophilia appointment is not until August 1st. So it'll be a late surgery in the year, and it's going to be a bummer, of course. If it's seems to be near November well I might have to miss Black Friday or whatever that Thanksgiving and not get the discount if it goes like this and unfortunately because of that it may be my only option to actually have the surgery and I'm gonna be probably out for at least a week or two with Cedric and their hassles we have to renew them next month so by the 15th of June after that, I don't have coverage for any kind of bleeds to just pop out of nowhere. And I only had a policy where I can only get one week total a month. After that, they give me points. So, they'll allow me to take off those days for like seven days at least. But I had a couple of bleeds in the last couple of swollen areas. But luckily, they've been healing up. Hands healing up, the feet are hurting, of course, because I'm on my feet eight, nine hours a day, and I keep getting this itchiness. So, you know, I got real bad itchy skin next month. I It's a problem, whatever it's. So, basically, I'm doing fine. I know I need to treat the eczema. I mean,. I had this condition since I was young, and there, my doctor who would usually uh, treat me, you know, he's not with me anymore. I'm a different doctor, and I still, we paid the bill, and we still owe like 50 bucks. So, they may ha we may have to get a refund from them because they'll send another check or whatever they do. Because apparently, when we pay online, my parents pay it, they don't get the payment, and then they send me another. Bill press saying you owe money when 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 technically we don't because we send the money a lot, and they asked to give us three hundred dollars because we overpaid three hundred or more on my bill from that 
one doctor alone. So, yeah. And with it, going to hematologist for August 1st, there's going to be a blood test called all of them. Which is going to cost a lot depending on my insurance. At least 500 if you don't have really good insurance. Quite a bit, so. Yeah, they had, to test, they had to test several things to make sure my liver and everything's working good. It'll still be disease, but hopefully the disease is less bad than it was. I had hard times with this illness, and it's permanent, I'm afraid. I'm stuck with the disease. If I'm not careful, I can bleed. Just how it was with the family history. And as I get older, parents won't be alive anymore, and all that's the destined future to happen and technically I can't drive so technically I gotta be watchful you know hopefully my sister Anna is good enough by then which I'm surely will drive and it will take me to these appointments and all that because it's it's a lifelong disease that I have to fight until there's a cure and all these illnesses are included with the hemophilia part and if I didn't have this hemophilia, I wouldn't be mentally handicapped because one of the medicines when I was using it, when I was in my early years of my life, like way early, within the first three years or so, I actually had a complication with one of the medicines they used at the time. And I just now, like, things they can't do with it after so many days, they could do a uh, factor injection because, you know, they can't do more than three days or you'll had a seizure and that's exactly what I happened. I had the flu. During the winter I actually had the medicine which dehydrated me pretty good. And then I had the bleed which is the same thing. All three trigger seizure brain damage. So basically that's why it's slower at times and the medicine I took in the last couple of hours will take a couple more. Maybe one more hour. So my speech it's never been that good. I had to go through a lot of speech therapy in my early years and I wish I still had it because I need some of it. As you can tell, my speech is not the best. I slur. I just how my brain works. It's not 100% normal because that damage is permanent. I'm afraid and there's no way to. After they said you don't need this, it, it kept getting worse. So year after year, my memory would actually worsen. My speech would actually worsen. And it's been a constant thing since 2006. And they believe I didn't need it. And I should have kept having it. They should have kept doing it. And as a result, it's probably not permanent learning that's going to stay there. It's just how the brain works. It's been damaged enough. It's been damaged a couple times at least. A couple possible bleeds, you know. Just how my life was. Everyone's going to have this suffering with hemophilia. You you can't really know what the future is going to have in front of you. You know, everyone's going to have worse bleeds. They're going to have all kinds of doctors who don't know how to treat this person. And they end up having permanent damage somewhere in their body and or death. Which I don't want either, but it's a possibility. You never know. Because hemophilia is really a hard, complicated disease that a lot of people think they know they don't. So that's the thing I always got on my chest, on my head, is what's the outcomes of the future, you know, what's, what it's going to be like, you know. And that tooth, afraid, I think last Friday or a couple of Fridays ago, it did so up, I didn't take the, I didn't need the medicine, it went away. Usually that does not happen with my factor levels with the hemophilia disease in me. I usually keep swelling up until I take medicine, so... I mean, at least that's being taken care of, but I can't guarantee I don't have hemophilia until I get tested. And even that, they still might have to give me some medicine. Who knows? Hopefully not, because that's really expensive. That one, three days, it's like 50 grand that my insurance luckily covered the full cost of it. Compared to the surgery about six months before that, in June of last year, which we still owe over like a couple hundred dollars for the to the surgeon, the rest was paid basically. And the factor was finally paid off through our grant that I had money in. We finally fi figured it out and 
And I gotta go through all that again. As he said, I need to have it done. Which is going to have to take a while for me to recover. And I'll be missing out on hours, of course. I'll, it'll affect my bonus, of course. Because when I missed that first week in first week of the year, that kind of threw my bonus down more. Probably have less. That's how the new Walmart system works. Depending on how many hours, it's like a couple things. And that could have been one of the reasons why I got less of a bonus. Because I missed a whole week or more because of the hereditary bleeding disease I'm born with. So, if I ever get married to a, you know, wife, wife I mean, if I ain't have any, if I have any daughters, they'll carry the illness and their sons have a 50% chance like I did to have the disease in them and suffer and hopefully 30 years down the road that this disease will be taken care of and not be existing and us anymore but until then they're trying to find all these therapies that kind of reverse this disease kind of add something to replace that I technically don't make and probably never make until they figure it out how to replace this broken factor 8 gene and make proper clotting protein so my blood can clot normally which it does not because of the illness so yeah until then you know there's people worse than me People with severe hemophilia that just constant IV lines in them, having to pump themselves at least once or a couple times a day or once a week because their levels are so low. It's they can't live without it basically. And I know someone who has a worked at Walmart, but it's because of points and I had to get rid of him because you know I can't blame him because I don't think it was enough there at the place to have some kind of you know protection under the law that would allow us like my, my, my case to miss and not get occurrences and don't, don't get points anything like that because he was a severe bleeder he had to have it every day and I'm just lucky enough to be a mild bleeder with hemophilia A so you know it's thankfulness as well if you knew, if you're new to this channel go ahead and subscribe and comment below <sighs> thanks for watching